Maybe you read in Angular that Inchi Deep is deprecated, but still lots of people are using it because this is the most comfortable way to style child components. This is why in this video I will show you alternatives to Inchi Deep when we need to style something. And I already prepared for us a small button. As you can see here, we have a button with the icon, and this is the markup inside app component HTML. So we have here a custom button with text foo and this icon. And this is our child component button with class custom button, and inside we are rendering with in chief an icon and then text. And here on the right you can see our component. This is just an input icon and an input text. So what is the problem? As you can see, this child component button is styled a little bit. And we can see here we have custom button with padding and border, and here is an icon. And typically in a huge project where you are not working alone, you might want to reuse this component in another place. But then for sure you will see that some styles are not like you really want to. So actually this component is totally fine for you, but you want to overwrite something. And as you can see here, we have padding and border, and let's say that we want to override border. And most of the people would use for this ngdeep. What does it mean? We are jumping inside app component less, which means to our parent, and here we are using host element. And if you forgot, we are writing host when we just want to isolate these styles to our current component. And now inside our host, we can write here two dots, then ng deep and inside some styles. And in our case we want to override that border. This is why here we can write custom button and inside we can provide any styling that we want. For example border, one pixel, solid red. Let's reload it in browser. As you can see here on the right we wrote our styles custom button and they were applied. So here we have styles from the child and this is from the parent. And actually normally it should not work because if we will just try to style here custom button, it won't work, it will be a local class of our component. In this case here within gdeep we are looking for any custom button class which was obviously scoped inside Angular. Which actually means it is really a flexible approach to style our children. But here is the problem. This style was not applied because this style overwrote it. This is why in order to use ngdeep you must always write here important. Let's check if it's working with important. I'm reloading the page and here is our border, which means it is working and this is how most of the people write CSS when they need to style it. And yes, this is the easiest variant, and if we are talking for example in styling of third-party libraries, this is the only variant. Because actually you can't style third-party library because you don't have any access to these components inside. Which actually means Angular does not provide for us a way to style something inside if the library itself does not provide an API for this. But the main problem is that ngdeep is deprecated and it is already deprecated quite a long time, which actually means it won't be removed tomorrow, but a lot of people think that it will be removed at some point, which means we must eliminate ngdeep from our project. This is why the question what alternative do we have? And obviously we don't have an alternative just like ngdeep, but we can do it differently. Another possibility here would be to provide some inputs for our child components to have different styling in different cases. And here we already prepared icon and text, so we can define here something which will be reusable for other developers. For example, is error. And by default we are setting it to false. Now here inside our button component we can apply here one more class. For example, we can use ng class and provide inside error class if we have is error property. Now we can jump inside our button less and write here styling for error. And this will be just border one pixel solid red. Now we can comment out this host and gdeep in the parent and just provide inside our HTML this input. So it should be is error and this is true and we are good to go. As you can see in browser here it is red now and we have here additional class error, which actually means we are implementing here inputs in order to style our component differently. But actually it is not just styling, this is just a different state of our component. Another variant which is really similar to our input variant is by using host context. 
So we can jump inside our button and here we won't write this in G-Class. But what we want to do inside, we can provide some styles inside custom button with host context. So here we are writing host-context and inside we are providing some class, for example theme red. After this we put and and we are writing some styles. In our case it will be border one pixel solid red. And you don't really need this error class anymore because this styling will be applied to this custom button when we have theme red on our element. This is why here we can jump back inside our app component HTML. Here we are removing this is error and we are just creating here class which will be theme red. As you can see in browser it is working exactly the same but here now we have a class on our custom button and this is how we are getting CSS here inside our button. This is really nice when you want to apply some styling like state from the outside. But actually it is super similar to the input and I will always prefer input over host context. And the last variant is the most flexible for me because you can really specify what CSS rules you want to override but you are creating an API for this. And here we are talking about CSS variables. So here I am inside our button less. And here inside we can provide a variable for our border color. This is why here let's create border color. And here we want a variable and we're starting the variable with two dashes. And here I will write custom button because this is the name of our component dash border color. And as a second parameter we can set here a default value. It will be gray. Now here on the top we can remove this border one pixel solid red and we can just split it. So we have border widths it will be one pixel and here will be border style solid which actually means here we're specifying that anybody can provide this CSS variable from the outside and if this variable is not provided then we are using gray color. Now we can jump back inside our app component less and use here host again because we want to isolate it to our parent and here we're providing custom dash button dash border color and here we just provide red which actually means we are defining custom variable inside the parent and it will be used in the child. I'm reloading the page and as you can see we have a nice red border and it is coming from CSS variable. And here on the right you can see that we are getting variable and this is red from the parent and it will be used in our child. So from all these variants I always prepare to go with the input first, then with custom properties I almost never use host context and I am using ngdeep when everything is super bad and these three solutions didn't help me. And actually if you are interested to know how to use correctly ngmodel and two-way data binding inside Angular, make sure to check this video also.